Hi everyone, on this topic we'll talk about Delta ASTAR W3 firmware upgrade. So the system architecture like this uh, for the basic configuration of uh, ASTAR W3 basically will include the power module, drive module, and the control module. And the default IP address of control module will be uh, 192.168.0.200. Okay, then the firmware upgrade procedure. W uh, start W3 uh, will auto power recycle when you see the upgrade. Okay, so basically, uh, when you do the procedure, you will see this one. Uh, download okay. So the first, uh, we have to select the firmware. Second, uh, you can see here we have the firmware package. You can click e either uh, yes or no. A uh, vote yes is uh, to upgrade all the modules on the uh, show over here. And if you want, just want to uh, upgrade a uh, certain modules, then you can select no. So here you can also see that uh, if you click yes, then all is uh, disabled. You cannot select anything. And after uh, when you see the download OK, you will see upgrade OK. So just make sure when you see uh, this one, please uh, power recycle. And click OK. Now we'll move to the software part. So this is the firmware upgrade tool of uh, Asta uh, W3. So we will select the firmware. Okay. So example, we will use this one. Let's say example. Then uh, remember, uh, click uh, yes. And if you click no, we will show like this. So you can select individual one, which one you want to update. Okay. So now we will show with the yes, and then click uh, press to download. So basically, th this will take some time, so uh, just uh, keep uh, waiting uh, patiently. So now it show uh, download OK, so we can click OK. So you will see upgrade OK. Then we have to uh, power recycle the drive. Okay, then we can uh, go through here. So after our uh, power recycle, then we have to set the control module parameters uh, P2 uh, uh, 008 to 30 and 28, then our uh, power recycle again. Okay, so now we will switch to the ASTAR soap. Okay, so we switch online. Okay, and we can uh, read the parameter back again. Okay, so after that, we will move to the control module. So go to uh, P2008, uh, then we set the 30, then uh, 28, and then you will see uh, 39. So we have to uh, power recycle drive again. Uh, then you may wonder how to check uh, whether the firmware upgrade is uh, successful or not. So basically, uh, we have to check some uh, parameters. So here you will see we will have uh, three modules. As I mentioned earlier, we will include the power module, drive module, and control module. So uh, so this is the example that I will show. As, I mean, uh, as you can see, this is the firmware version uh, information, like uh, 5006, uh, then uh, subversion uh, 1675, uh, .1E etc okay so here you will see like this okay so now we can uh, switch to the asta shop again then uh, switch online okay then uh, we can check the version so you can see uh, 1675 uh, then 30 as mentioned over here and then uh, we can uh, click the drive module and check the uh, parameters uh, 0 and 5. So now we switch to our uh, drive module and check uh, this one is uh, uh, 5000, then uh, 5 is uh, 29. So it's like this. Then uh, the last one will be uh, power module. So power module, we just check the P uh, group 0. So here would be the uh, power module so you will see the 
information will be 5104. 5104. So let's go for uh, today's topic. Thank you.